Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday and had a poll up this morning. I said, do you guys want to see the truckers or do you want to see that big stuck ship that's out in the Chesapeake Bay? And about two thirds of you said you wanted to see the boat. Though I know a lot of you really want to see the truckers. So we're running up to see the boat and then we're going to run back to DC and see if we can catch the truckers. Why not do everything, yeah? All right, we, we may get some food out here in Maryland though because there's some good stuff out here. I'm on 95 heading to BWI and then on to Gibson Island just south of Baltimore, just north of Annapolis. Oh, well, that's interesting. Let's go swing by there. Kind of a discreet sign. So, guys, just over there, that black building with the mirrors, you've seen it in spy movies, if you watch enough spy movies. But that is the NSA, the National Security Agency. The guys who listen to all the phone calls, do all the intercepts, all the high-tech spy stuff. This is the headquarters of the NSA here at Fort Meade, Maryland. And I always wanted to point this part out. Look at this high-tech agency cyber defense. Look what's protected by. Big boulders of rocks. This is where the number of radar dishes per acre in this area is just like super high. Yeah, back over there. So Fort Meade is pretty huge. It's an army base, I think, technically. U.S. Army, though. I think the main tenant is now the NSA. Pretty much protected 24 hours a day by the police. There's a state trooper you saw there. Big rocks again. And anyway, I wanted to bring you guys out here. I just never had a reason to come out to this part of town. I mean, this part of Maryland. We're about 10, 15 miles south of Baltimore, near the BWI airport, actually. So that's the NSA. When the museum reopens up, I'll see if I can get into the museum. That would be cool. Yeah, that's the museum right there. The National Cryptologic Museum. But I don't think it's open right now. And if it is, it's probably open only to NSA people. Like the CIA museum, only open to the CIA. <laughs> A lot of fun that is. Hey guys, so greetings from Downs Park, which is just north of Arcadia, Maryland, near Gibson Island on the Chesapeake Bay. And I've been told that from this park you have the best view of the ship. I think you're right. Listen to those birds. Crickets, frogs, whatever. They don't like photographers. Hey guys, there it is. The Ever Forward is not really moving forward. It's a thousand foot vessel and it's stuck. It's stuck really bad. In fact, there's a Coast Guard vessel. Where is it? I just saw him a minute ago. There he is. That's a Coast Guard cutter. And there's a couple tugs somewhere around here. But I don't think it's getting out anytime soon. So there's a really good view, guys, of the boat ever forward. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit more. Maybe we'll put on the extender. We'll really get close, okay? Hang on. We have the 2X extender on. And it's pretty stuck. Look how much red is out of the water. All right? It's really out of the water. You can almost see the, the thing at the front. The... So, guys, at the front of the vessel, you can almost see the, the little bubble popping out of the water. That's how... Uh... Look how much red under... <laughs> that red is supposed to be under the water. Uh, this boat is really, really stuck. They're going to have to dredge this thing out. I don't see any crew or anything. They're hiding. <laughs> They're hiding. I guess they don't really have much to do up top. Yeah. Jen, Maryland Air National Guard. There's a couple of them. There's another one up here in the sun. Ah! But uh, they're going over to a range, I think, in the eastern shore of Maryland. There he is. There's an A-10 range. There's another one coming behind there. A-10 making its way over to the range on the eastern shore. Do some practice strafing. Cool. You know, I have a drone. I do have a drone, but I don't have it with me. And I was, I almost went out to my beach house this morning, but it would be another hour drive to get to the beach, get my drone, charge it, and then bring it out here. But if, I don't know, 
we'll see. Maybe we, maybe we'll get the drone one day because that's within drone range, guys. That's not that far. It's only a half mile. I could easily fly the drone over there. Come on, guys. You know I'm near Baltimore, and anytime I'm near Baltimore, pit beef time. We're at Beefalo Bob's. Beefalo Bob's pit beef. Let's give it a try. Okay, we got some skinny fries today, but we don't mind skinny fries. And let's see, where's our sandwich? There it is. Mm. Get out of here. Oh, da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Ooh, pit beef. I got the medium rare today. Oh, it's so juicy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, it's really good. <laughs> this is really good, guys. Really, really yummy. Let's eat this. And right here, we're at the edge of the district, and there are the DC police ready to block. Them. So I'm, uh, I'm getting off 295 a little bit early. It was the Baltimore Washington Parkway, and I'm bailing out here at New York Avenue, which is not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to go farther down into the city and then cut over, but. I don't know what the cops are up to. <laughs> they might have every exit blocked from here to the city. So we're gonna we're gonna bail out here and then make our way through some of the back streets of DC downtown. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the US Capitol. I think we're gonna go down to like the Washington Monument. The trucks are somewhere over on the freeway, but if I get near the freeway, I can get stuck in the traffic and I won't make it anywhere. I guess I'm now in Google Street View. <laughs> I guess that's a Google Street View. Hello guys, we're looking at the 695 in DC. Pretty heavy traffic. Uh, cars on the right are going to the Capitol. That exit that looks like it's open. And a lot of the other exits are closed. In fact, the on-ramp onto this is actually closed. Just down here on my right, there's a police car blocking traffic to get onto the front. Right here, you can see traffic is flowing pretty well. I got a truck stop. There's a truck stop over there. Down there you see a truck that's been pulled over by about three or four DC police cars. And I think there's even a Secret Service vehicle involved. I honestly think that's just a random trucker who took the wrong turn, but I'm not sure. He's being let go. Over there you see the DC police. That's their uh, truck traffic enforcement units, those, those kind of trucks. Uh, those pickup trucks are what they use when they do traffic enforcement against big semis. They've got like scales in the back and stuff like that. A couple vehicles there. And there goes a DC police car. I guess he's gonna go follow them. I'm just screaming at cars, those guys. Part of the cat and mouse game, we've got police just zipping back and forth all over the mall, wherever there's a report of trucks. They are on the run. These are park police cruisers. have some protests. A couple guys up there today. Hey, the new fencing has arrived. The new fencing has arrived. There's a behind this crane.